Hey, what's going on, guys? Double A Games here, and it's time for, by the way, new shirt. Hit hard, hit often. Ow. Roman Reigns, believe that. It's time for the Hell in a Cell predictions. Hell in a Cell is tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, on the WWE Network, and I will be watching it with my friend Nate once again. Um... But we're here for our predictions, and I'm sorry the audio was probably sucky. I don't know where my mic went, and it's kind of depressing me because I like that mic, and it's kind of good. So I'm going to start off, no bulls, no BS. We're going to go to it right now. First match is going to be the kickoff show. We've got... This match has happened like four times already, but we've got... Ziggler, Cesaro, and Neville going up against King Barrett, Seamus, and Rusev. Uh, well, if you look at the history of the, the matches, not much for history, but I mean, you know, if you look at the, how the matches have gone, it's been completely in the favor of, uh, stop changing in the back, you piece of shit. Stop moving. It's been completely in the favor of, uh, so itchy, I'm sorry. It's been in the favor of Rusev and, uh, Barrett and Sheamus. But I think that the heels are going to lose to the faces. And Neville and Cesaro and Ziggler are going to beat them. Because, to be honest with you, all three of those guys need a big push. And this would be the way to do it. Get them to beat three of the top guys at Hell in a Cell, one of the most most watched and most anticipated pay-per-views of all time. Um, so yeah, I've got Cesaro, and Neville, and Ziggler beating Barrett, Sheamus, and Rusev. Because Rusev's a bitch. All right, next up we have John Cena's U.S. Open Challenge. Oh boy. I don't know why they're doing this uh, pay-per-view. This, is, this isn't a pay-per-view where they... Stop! I swear to God. Jerry! Okay. This is not a pay-per-view worthy match, to be honest with you. We've had, what, 10 open challenge matches in the past before? And John Cena's won every single one of them. Um, you know, Ziggler put up a pretty good fight last time. He really did. Uh, Xavier Woods did as well. Uh, but I think we're going to be doing some, someone different this time. Somebody who hasn't had the title in a while. Or never had the title. Um, personally, if I could be honest. Uh, if I could... I, I, to be honest with you, I've got no idea who's going to do it. I mean, it would be it would make sense if Ziggler were to come in the match and you know do it, but I don't think he's gonna be able to do that after the having the kickoff show match, which is the six man tag match. No titles are on the line there, by the way. Um, I, I just don't know, man. I, I I don't see who I don't think anybody would unless it. Would, uh, it couldn't be Eric Rowan. It, it, it couldn't be a Wyatt family member. Unless the only Wyatt family member who I think is even worthy of that match would be probably Braun Strowman. And I don't remember if Braun Strowman's wrestling tomorrow night, but I'll find out later on as I go through the matches. Pre I'm pretty sure he is. Pretty sure it's him and Harper against Ambrose and somebody. I don't know. I don't remember. Or maybe that was just Monday's match. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But I'm looking forward to this open challenge, I mean, like I said, as much as it's not, you know, hell in a cell worthy, it's going to be a good match regardless, the scene always puts on a good show, so, my wild card for this is Braun Strowman, I feel like he's, he's, he's been a, a massive presence in the WWE for a couple of, couple of weeks now, ever since he's been unveiled, and he's just, I think he's going to be the guy who leads the Wyatt family back to the title picture, which is going to be the tag team titles, hopefully at some point. All right, let's move on. So now we've got... 
It looks like it's gonna. Uh, this is the tag. This is the Intercontinental Championship match. I wish you'd stop moving. I really wish you'd stop moving. So we've got uh, the rematch from the last pay per view, which is Kevin Owens and Ryback for the Intercontinental Championship. And to be honest with you, I think uh, Kevin Owens retains. Kevin Owens has a pretty big following in the WWE now. He makes, makes a massive presence. He's a big dude. He's powerful. He's agile. He's athletic. And he's he's a dick. That's really what he is. He's a dick. So, uh, but the thing is, like people, people hate him, but people also love him. And Vince knows that. Vince knows that people like him. So... I'm gonna go with Kevin Owens. I think Kevin Owens is gonna it's, it's gonna be a good match. It's gonna be a long match, a brutal match, but I think we're gonna have Kevin Owens staying as the Intercontinental Championship, In, uh, Intercontinental Champion. I can't even talk. And of course, now we have our tag team match. <sighs> this needs to stop. I'm sorry, but this needs to stop. The, the New Day needs to lose their tag team titles. So sick of them. I hate. I hate them. I hate their trumpets. I hate their their chants. I hate their puns. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. I need the Dudley Boys to take the titles away from the New Day. You got to think though, from a realistic standpoint, why would Vince, you know, bring the Dudley Boys from TNA back to the WWE to just have them lose to the New Day every single week and you know. Let John Cena get beat up by the New Day, and let Dolph Ziggler get beat up by the New Day. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. The, the Dudley Boys are taking the tag team titles at Hell in a Cell. I'm sorry, but that, I don't care if you don't like my opinion, but I'm so sick of the New Day, and I need them to lose, have the rematch Monday night, lose again. And that's it. No more New Day. Go to the back of the line, bring the Usos back, let them get in the tag picture. It needs to happen. Hit hard. All right. Anyway, enough, enough of my ranting. We've got the Divas Championship match. Nikki Bella is cashing in her rematch. Her rematch, not whore. Her rematch at Hell in a Cell against Charlotte. Nikki Bella is going to win it. And I think it's going to be because of the numbers game. I think Nikki Bella is going to use Alicia Fox and Brie Bella to her advantage. They're going to distract Charlotte and Becky Lynch. And they're going to retain the titles and, you know, blah, blah, blah. History repeats itself. She holds it for another 200 freaking whatever days. I got Nikki Bella. I really, I, I got Nikki Bella. So then now we have our last match that is not a Hell in a Cell match. We've got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match between Seth Rollins and Kane. Now, many of you may not remember the stipulation for this match, but I sure do. Here's what's going to happen. Kane and Rollins are going in this match. It's a, it's a regular title match, DQ, whatever. Kane essentially has to win the title. Otherwise, Corporate Kane is no longer, and who knows how long Demon Kane will be out. With, you know, injury, like he has been before. Before he makes another five-month return at next pay-per-view when he screws over somebody. Um, yeah. I mean, as much as I love Kane, I have always loved Kane. I've watched every Kane match I can possibly watch. I just don't think he's going to do it. I think that the WWE is pushing Seth Rollins way too hard as this, you know, overly athletic incredibly awesome superstar who is the future he's the next rock he's the next stone cold he's the next mankind it, i don't agree with it i think that they're pushing they've been pushing him for too long he ruined a perfectly good match at wrestlemania last year he's been the champion since but he's gonna he's gonna retain it seth rollins is gonna retain it and kane is going to no longer be director of operations and they're gonna hire somebody stupid and it's just gonna be another case of the the, the authority is back in power, and we're gonna we're gonna see all these matches go against people who are popular, and people are they're gonna lose ratings, you know, all that BS. But long story short, Rollins is gonna retain. I don't like it, but it's gonna happen, and unfortunately, that's what we have to live with. 
Next up, we have... Um, this is this is not an order, by the way. I'm just going backwards from the uh, the website here. Uh, this is this is the second match listed. This is the first Hell in a Cell match, and that's my boy Roman Reigns. Sorry, I think I'm getting a little sick here. Roman Reigns is going against Bray Wyatt. Hopefully for the last chapter in this this feud. It's been way too long. This feud has been going on since Money in the Bank between the Wyatts and you know the Shield. But if you don't remember the story. Roman Reigns was this close to becoming the Money in the Bank contract holder. Bray Wyatt came in and he... Shut up. And he ruined the chance for Roman Reigns. They've been fighting ever since. Dean Ambrose has been with him. He's been against them. The Wyatts have been, you know... Whether it had been Bray Wyatt against Roman Reigns or Luke Harper against Roman Reigns, Eric Rowan against Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose against Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose against Luke Harper, Dean Ambrose against Eric Rowan, Dean Ambrose against Braun Strowman. It's been going on too long. And to be honest with you, I think that Bray Wyatt, as much as I love Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt is going to come out on top. He's going to win the match. And then this, this feud is just going to continue because Roman Reigns is hatred. And, you know, something like that. But I honestly, as much as I love Roman Reigns, I just think that it's going to be a Bray Wyatt match. And I don't like saying it, but deep down inside, that's what I believe. Spitting now, Jesus Christ. I sure would like to see Roman Reigns win it, but I don't think he's going to do it. But before I, you know, make this video 25 minutes long, we're just going to go straight to the point of the last match. The Hell in a Cell match. The one that everybody is talking about. Though this is the last time these two guys are ever going to meet. It's going to be Undertaker against Brock Lesnar. Suplex City versus the Dead Man. You know, the Demon of Death Valley against you know the hard hitting, you know, former WWE champion. And I've seen a lot of people who think that Brock Lesnar is going to win this match. But I can tell you that my entire friend group, which is like six people that actually watch the wrestling thing still, everybody is on my side. We've got The Undertaker as the winner. Because you got you, you got to think here. The Undertaker has amassed such a fan base over the last 20-something years. His 22-1 record at WrestleMania is still unprecedented. It should never have been broken, by the way. But it's unprecedented. He's an icon. He's an incredible athlete. He may be old. He may be rich. He may not need this money. But he's doing it because he's awesome. And the Hell in a Cell match is his match. I don't think he's ever wrestled Brock Lesnar in a Hell in a Cell. I could be wrong. I haven't researched Hell in a Cell very much. But I honestly do think that Undertaker is just going to take it. It's going to be a very long, brutal match. At least one of the two, if not both, are going to be cut up. And cut open and bleeding and bruised and hurt. And we're not going to see Undertaker again until about three weeks before WrestleMania. But we'll talk about that after. But as good as Brock Lesnar is and as powerful as his suplexes and his F5s and his Kimura are, I just don't think that, that WWE, Vince, Triple H, you know, those guys would let this happen to The Undertaker. You just Just think. How many billions of fans does WWE have? And probably not billions, but how many millions of people do you think WWE has as fans? And out of those millions and millions of people, the millions and millions. Okay, no rock. Just the millions of people who follow the WWE. How many people do you think would actually be happy if Brock Lesnar were to beat The Undertaker and make it 2-1 to one Brock? Because, you know, The Undertaker has vengeance, and it's not going to be the last match. It's going to be a disgusting match. Brock Lesnar might win it, and then we got, you know, Survivor Series, you know. And we got Royal Rumble and all these pay-per-views that could potentially have an Undertaker-Brock Lesnar rematch. You know, I don't know. I just, I think I think that Undertaker has to take it. I don't think that he can be allowed to lose in this situation, especially being man who has wrestled in more Hell in a Cell matches than anybody ever. So, let's quickly review this, 
And then I want to talk about one more thing before I end the video. So the kickoff show match, Dolph Ziggler, Cesaro, and Neville against Rusev, Sheamus, and Barrett. I have Ziggler, Cesaro, and Neville winning. The U.S. Open Challenge. Do we have... Is there like, is there like a list of people who could be? No, there's... Because usually when the WWE does this, they have like a poll of... Who do you think... You know, who do you think is going to be the... T I'm surprised they don't have that. Normally they have like a little poll on the side of the website here. And they're like, hey... Who do you think out of these six people who could possibly never win this match could be in this match? But I think it's Braun Strowman, to be honest with you. I'm probably really wrong, but that's okay. Um, next up is Kevin Owens and Ryback. I got Kevin Owens winning, re retaining the Intercontinental title. Got the New Day and the Dudleys. I need the Dudleys to win. I don't like the New Day at all. We've already discussed that. We've got Nikki Bella and Charlotte. I've got Nikki Bella winning because she's Nikki Bella. Kane and Rollins are going to fight for the WWE Heavyweight Championship. I've got Seth Rollins retaining, unfortunately. Got Wyatt and Reigns in the Hell in a Cell match. I've got Wyatt winning that match. And then we've got Taker and Brock. I've got Taker winning and, you know, ending the story on a good note. Now I'm going to close this out. I want to talk to you guys about something really quickly. I probably should save this for a couple more months. Since it's not a couple months till I think like when is when is WrestleMania like March or something I don't even remember I it's, I don't remember the dates but I want to talk about the Undertaker at WrestleMania 32. There are multiple things that I've read about people who are going to be facing the Undertaker at WrestleMania 32. You know, Braun Strowman's gonna face them. Uh, Roman Reigns is gonna face them. Uh, Sting's gonna face them. To be honest with you, putting The Undertaker up, like, up against someone like Braun Strowman would be a terrible idea. He may be 6'11", he may be 305 pounds, whatever, but you can't put a 40 or 50 year old man up against a 6 foot, like 6 foot 8, 400 pound world strongest man co competition person guy, dude. I've looked up Braun Strowman's stats. He's got strongman competitions and truck pulling and log lifting. And he's first place and third place in all of them. I would like to see Sting. That would be a really, really, really cool match. I know I'm not alone on that, but that would be a cool match for me personally. But I'm not going to end this. I'm going to end this video now before I go on. Because I could talk to you guys for hours and hours about wrestling. So we're going to leave it here. Again, I apologize for the terrible audio. My mic is missing. And the other mic that I have doesn't work. So thank you guys so much for watching Hell in a Cell predictions. Let me know what you guys think of my predictions in the description below. And, uh, wow, and that, that that's dumb. I'm stupid. Uh, okay, let's redo that. Rewind it a little bit. Let me know what you guys think about my predictions in the comments below. And if you disagree with me, tell me why and who. If you agree with me, just, you know, cell 55 DDP whoosh, like that. Like Jacksepticeye. Whoosh, all, all day, baby. But thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the pay-per-view tomorrow. For those of you who aren't watching it, I'm sorry. Your life sucks. For those of you who are watching it with me, yes, boom. And we'll see you later.